what's poppin guys welcome back to my channel it's me your girl dream i'm back again with another video today before we get started first of all we are going to be talking about this mini short bob it's not that short but mm, it's pretty long but it's short for me because y'all know i wear the inches but na beauty hair sent me this hair to review for you guys and let me tell you you guys know that i don't wear the shorter inches or like bobs or anything like that only for reviews but this hair i'm actually gonna wear this for a while because i'm actually digging this i feel like i look way older um more mature more i don't know it could be the makeup too but the hair the short bobs it's like this is gonna be me at 35 so yeah it was in the texture straight it was already a wig i didn't have to make it or anything it had one two three three or four combs i know it came with one in the back and two on the um sides actually there's no comb right here this is just straight up lace so i did pluck the side part and styled the baby hairs myself it came with this beautiful ombre. It was already colored. I didn't have to do anything. Now, it wasn't patchy, so I love that. We love that. It's actually like ombre and like nicely done ombre because I remember the last wig that I had that was ombre. You guys didn't like it because y'all said it was like patchy, like it was just like straight. But this hair, I love it. So if y'all want to know anything else about this hair, just make sure to look down in the description box and get informed. So a couple of days ago, I asked you guys to ask me anything that you guys needed advice on, anything that you wanted me to speak about or help you out without outing you guys' names i am going to be helping out as much as i can all right and this is a nature sesh so you guys already know that we're about to get lit and if you're smoking with me then let me know what it is that you're smoking on because your girl never knows what i'm smoking on i never know what i'm smoking on i never ask my plug i never i don't know i just know i feel relaxed so the first comment was how to not care about people's opinions. <coughs> so honestly, what helped me the most with that, like to deal with how to not give a fuck about what anybody else is saying. Look at this sign, yes. What helped me with that honestly was spending most of my time alone. Yes, I'm lame in real life. I'm always home. I don't really go out much. I don't hang out with people. I just spend most of my time by myself and alone. When you spend time alone, you get to really just learn yourself and to figure out what you think is cool and what you think it's not. What you're okay with and what you're not okay with. You know, and eventually when you get around people, like you have your understanding of, okay, um, okay, well they can think this, that, and the third, but this is what I think, and I don't give a fuck about what the next person is thinking. This is my opinion, and this is this is what matters. Okay, like I'm not I'm not worried about what the next person is thinking. They have a whole different, separate mindset from me, so we might see nobody sees shit the same as you see it. Everybody has two sets of eyes, but nobody is gonna ever have the same view as you do. So, and if they do, that's rare. That's that's hard to find. Just like, they will never understand till they're in your same exact shoes. You know what I'm saying? So forget their opinion. They not in your shoes. How to deal with not having friends. I recently just found out all my friends are fake as fuck. Honestly, just leave it alone. They exit your life for a reason and they not going in the same direction you're going. Like they had to exit your life for a reason. So whatever that reason is, you need to leave it alone and move on you know what i'm saying just spend your time alone construct your mind see what you want to do you don't need friends right now <laughs> especially friends that are frenemies you know what i'm saying like you really you really don't need that type of energy around you like it's better to be by yourself or you got to be around fake people right how to deal with a heartbreak don't spend time alone go out with friends go out have fun distract yourself with hobbies you may have but don't you know, you don't want to spend time alone to get, you know, you, you want to prevent that. You don't want to think about the past and get sad and reminisce and stuff like that. So, you know, you can always DM me. I'm sorry. Honestly, the best thing to do for a heartbreak is just let time pass. Let time do its thing and you just got to go through that shit. How to become a beauty influencer and how to start a business. Well simple you want to be a beauty influencer post beauty influencer things like makeup videos um 
make a picture, selfies, and then you tag the companies that you know you have the products for. So honestly, just keep doing that and being consistent until you get an audience that actually fucks with what you're posting, and it's just gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. But the key is being consistent. That's that's your job. With the business part, I feel like the business part will always fall in place. So one thing at a time, just take one thing at a time. When you take multiple things at a time, sometimes, you know, you get too distracted, you get too focused on one and then the other one shatters. So you want to make sure you have one and then get the other, you know what I'm saying? Feeling unmotivated, uninspired, and kind of in a rut in life. See, what I believe is when, you, when you're motivated and uninspired, like, those are really the days that can make or break you. Are you going to get up and stay there? Or are you going to get up for the thousandth time and try again if necessary? That's literally what separates one group of people from another group of people. And it's very, those days are very important. Those days are the days that make you or break you. You just basically need to keep showing up even if nobody else is showing up. You gonna be that person that does still show up. Just, you got this baby girl, I promise. You gonna bounce back. How to start a YouTube? This one is real simple, you know? Well, you see, you take out your phone, You take out your phone, you get yourself in front of the camera, and you just simply click start. Before I started, I swear I needed all these things when you really just can do what you can with what you have. You know what I'm saying? You don't need a camera or oh, immediately. You don't need lights or oh, immediately. How you think everybody else started? You know what I'm saying? Everybody doesn't have the funds. Everybody, I'm still recording on my phone. <laughs> Honestly, you just improve as you go. Just take out the camera, put yourself in front of the camera, and just start recording. How to deal with depression and insecurities? It all depends, because usually things like depression comes from, and insecurities come from buildup of things, if that makes sense. See, for this one, I would need to know, like, what triggers you to get sad? What makes you, what are you insecure about exactly? What's on your mind? Like, you can DM me and we can talk. I'm thinking about stripping, but I have a boyfriend. Well, with this one, it depends on is he, what type of guy is he? Like, does he understand that at this point, this is what you gotta do? Like, does he know that it's necessary at this point? Also, is there a book who trusts with each other? There's honestly, so many factors that play in this. Um, stripping definitely took a toll in my relationship, like when I first started. I'm not gonna lie, it did. You know, it was understandable, but over time, you know, he got to see the bigger picture. That takes maturity. And that's another topic that I wanted to touch on in general. Don't be lame and become a stripper just for the hype. You know what I'm saying? I think that's just something you do when when your back's against the wall, really. Loving myself more and start knowing my worth. You honestly just got to get past your head. Like, you have the power to tell your mind to shut the fuck up. Like, out loud. And, and substitute that negative thought for a positive one. And then you just make a habit out of it. What I want you to do, every time you get a negative thought about yourself, every time you get like one of those insecurities, every time you, you gonna tell your mind out loud to shut the fuck up, just like that. Be like, shut the fuck up. Substitute that negative thought for a positive one, but you say the positive one out loud. I want you to do this for as long as you can until it goes through your head that I fucking love myself. To feel worth it, I can tell you my damn self you're worth it because listen, you were placed on this earth for a reason and you had a purpose before anybody had the slightest opinion about you. So you're damn, you're worth it. You're worth it. In a row, you just have to figure out that purpose and go chase it. And nobody's gonna love you like you're gonna love yourself. Bro, always remember that. I need to take that advice too, actually. I need to, I need to take that one. Nobody's gonna love me like I love myself. Um. Believe it or not, I'm still learning how to fully Believe it or not, I'm still learning how to fully love myself. Like I can I'm not gonna cap to you. I'm I'm learning how to love myself. I don't hate myself, I don't think, but you know, I have plenty of insecurities and I have just things about myself, you know, that I just need to learn how to accept. How can you tell someone loves you unconditionally? I mean, you'll know when they do things they don't have to do at all. Never try and throw it in your face. A person's there time after time after time. No matter how many people exit, that person's still there. 
knowing you can always run to them, like that feeling that you get, like you know the feeling I'm talking about. You feel that you can always run to that one person and knowing that they're not gonna judge you, but they're gonna keep it 100 with you, you know what I'm saying? You just know, it's like little things, but it's real big in real life. Getting money quick, fast money isn't always good money. What if you're in love with your ex but can't bring yourself to talk to him? Honestly, I think you just need to get out of your head and we, you know, we're young as fuck. Like, what's the worst you can say? Like, I don't want you back. In that case, okay, it's gonna hurt a little bit, yeah, but you, you know, you move on from that and you just, but you're never gonna know what could have happened if, just feel like you should say something because it's just better than wondering like what could have been. Come feed the fucking ducks now. Now that I'm here, it's time to feed the ducks. How to save money to travel? Oh my God, another goddamn plane. Money to travel honestly you gonna have to just cut back like it's simple but it's not that simple like literally just cut back from your spending activities like cut back from going out come back from going out to eat with your friends going out to eat period going out and spending anything like just like just stay home like i say stay home and work stay home and work stay home and work and save up all that money i know it's hard but that's the only way to really do it. How to quit my nine to five and do social media for a full time. You're gonna have to continue working your nine to five while you start your social media. And as you grow, that's when you can leave your job. You can't just, I wouldn't just recommend leaving your job and just starting social media. You're gonna have to keep working as you start your social media. Dealing with my mom, that makes me feel like I'm not shit every day. Um, Sometimes parents can be your bully, unfortunately. I would just say if you can move out, you don't need to be around that negative energy, first of all. So if you can move out, move out. If you can't just save up to try to do that, that's that's one thing you should have in your bucket. That's one thing you should have in your goals list. Moving out of that house and saving up and getting you your own stuff. Because you need your own space at this point. My girl doesn't know how pretty she is and I just don't know how to tell her. Babe! Stop making me feel stupid. They fucking slick. Like, they literally been watching me the whole time. I want to sleep with my ex's best friend to get revenge on him for leaving me for my friend. Baby girl, I feel your pain. Trust me, I feel your pain. That's fucked up on so many levels. Like, that's so disrespectful. That's literally the worst thing you could probably do. Like, with my friend, too, bitch. I'll probably go crazy, but I think I'm gonna tell you the right thing to do. You sleeping with your ex's best friend isn't gonna get revenge on anybody, but not even on yourself. You're just gonna feel terrible afterwards because you're gonna find that he, what if he doesn't give a fuck? You know what I'm saying? What if he, what if he's still like, okay, I'm happily in a relationship? How are you gonna feel after that? I wouldn't do it. I thought I loved this guy, but it's fading. He's a good guy. He's a good guy, but he's just too sweet, I guess. Um, I can actually relate to this one 100% because when I was in high school, during my high school years in Atlanta, during my high school days in Atlanta, I used to hate clingy guys. Like I used to, if you were too sweet to me, like I really didn't want you. Like I was just like, I, I'm good. And you know, and I would never tell them either. Like I would just like act distant and stuff. I don't know, and they were always wondering. I would just like kind of just, like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like that at all. I didn't like that clingy shit. Now I don't like the clingy shit, but I just like you to be the right amount of clingy. That makes sense. If you don't like him, you don't like him. Like there's nothing really you could do. He's too sweet, that's not your type right now, so. Why be with him? It's really something in a decision that you really have to make. Like, how do you feel? If that's not your type right now, if that's not what you're feeling, don't lead him on to thinking that there will be a future if that's not what you're thinking, you know? that will be fucked up to play with his feelings like that. I need advice on how to handle all negativity. Surround yourself by positivity. Surround yourself by people that actually give a fuck about you. Surround yourself by people that actually worry about your mentality and your mental health. Now they won't walk their dog. 
Most importantly, cut them negative people all the way off. Like the slightest bit of negative, like you feel like you just can't deal with it, just cut them off. Simply, if you stay by yourself, it's better than being around buku negative people, trust me. Dealing with constantly being put down by family, there's no better revenge than bossing up and glowing up and becoming successful. That's the best thing you could do. Not just deal with that, but really to uplift yourself and be like, hey, at the end of the day, I'm still a boss ass bitch. You said what you said and look where I'm at. I think I'm gonna just conclude this video here, but like I said, like this is something that I wanted to do because I want everybody to get to know each other better. So I will be opening up more in this segment, uh, drink talk, as well as helping you guys with things that you guys need. So, but that's basically it.